is dawn and a day begins at Anubhuti school. As the cool air rustles the leaves of the trees, the early birds are up and about, all ready to greet the new day. Before we go and see what our flock is doing, we need to go back a couple of years to this very spot to meet. Mr. Bhavarlal Jain, the founder, Mr. Jain, or Bhau, as he is affectionately called by most people, is on his customary morning walk. But today, he is not walking on the shady roads or on the well-laid paths of Jain Hill. Today, he is surveying the barren hundred acres plot across the road to decide whether new school Anabhuti is to be established. After considering many spots, this one was found to be the best, as it got the coolest breeze, had interesting contours and many undulations for the academic buildings, art center and sports complex. Having decided on the location, a massive 20,000 trees were immediately planted. And even before the plans were approved, foundation laid, or the building work started, more than a year later, sturdy young trees were already up, happily nodding their heads in the breeze. So it is with everything that Bhau plans. The environment comes first and takes precedence over everything. Very soon, amidst those growing trees and a further lot planted later, the buildings come up, one by one. Each one was located such that it would provide maximum protection from the heat. All the structures were also designed to further insulate the spaces within, using composite stone and brick walls and wide protective verandas. We will now walk through the Anubhuti complex. But before that, let us tell you a little about the concept and the mission of the school. Anubhuti school is not run on a commercial basis. The annual fees are considerably lower than comparable schools, considering the quality of the facilities offered. The only patrons for the entire infrastructure are Jain Irrigation and Kantapai Bhavarlal Jain family. It is one of the numerous endeavors through which they wish to return their debt to society and to Mother Earth. Their stated mission is leave this world better than you found it. The school is designed to work with an Indian cultural compass and provides an environment conducive for the learners to be creative, sensitive, capable, equanimous and responsible entrepreneurs with a global outlook. It is committed to Indian culture and family values, to excellence and creativity, to the spirit of mutual dependence and cooperation, to hard work, the environment, conservation and non-violence. And finally to cover it all, it is committed to the spirit of entrepreneurship. This spirit is symbolized by the farmer who through his life keep struggling with infinite variables which are most often beyond human comprehension. He is therefore known as the very foundation of civilization. As we enter the main gate, we see the security and administrative staff. This also has a waiting room for parents and visitors. Next to this is a full-fledged clinic with a doctor, a visiting specialist and an ophthalmologist. The entire complex is bounded by a secure wall and a solar security fence. Successful rainwater harvesting provides water for the school. As we climb up and enter the reception, let us pause for a moment before Goddess Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge and wisdom to pay our respects and to get our breath back before we proceed further. The school area is free of pollution from motor vehicles and plastic. It uses a solar powered cart for transport when necessary. On the right of the entrance, we have the Arts and Crafts Center. 
which has facilities for painting and drawing, sculptures and pottery, computer graphics, craft, weaving, batik, carpentry and woodwork. Not to mention singing, music and dancing. In a specially designed hall below, there is also a mini theatre for impromptu performances, exhibitions and celebrations. A multi-purpose hall has weekly film shows. Next is the assembly hall designed to accommodate a thousand children. This splendid hall is used for morning prayers and for all major functions. Just below is a spectacular open-air amphitheater where we plan to stage many live performances. We are now back at the entrance pavilion and go left past the administrative wing which has the staff rooms. The chairman of the governing council, Dr. Shailesh Shirali's room and the founder, Mr. Bhavarlal Jain's room. Adjacent to this wing are the classrooms, all bright and airy, where students and teachers practice and participate in modern teaching methods. Anubhuti has teachers drawn from various parts of the country. They have rich educational background and a passion for education. Children also interact with many distinguished visitors. They also have exchange visit programs of learners from other schools. Here is a group from Rishi Valley School. As we move further down the path, we come to the laboratories, physics, chemistry, computer and language. All have the latest equipment in place. the bell and time for some lunch. The children enjoy a hearty breakfast, a mid-morning snack, a wholesome lunch at 12.30, a mid-afternoon snack and delicious dinner at 7.30 in the evening. All meals are strictly vegetarian, well balanced and cooked scientifically using eco-friendly solar energy and biogas. Children help themselves to food and rinse their plates after each meal before putting it into the dishwasher to help in the washing up. To the left of the dining hall is home sweet home for boys and to the right is for the girls. These are not only for the children but also have comfortable two bedroom accommodation for two sets of house parents who live with the children in a congenial homely atmosphere. Aside from the academics and training in art, children also go out to picnic spots and places of historical and educational interest as part of extended learning. Anubhuti also lays a lot of emphasis on the physical well-being of the children. They have a lot of activity packed into their day, starting with PT in the morning, which could be trekking, jogging, yoga, or exercises and games like football, cricket, tennis, volleyball, handball, cocoa and kabaddi in the evening. Free time also sees the children playing chess or carom and of course the all-time favorite table tennis. As the day ends the weary but happy youngsters get ready for bed. They know that tomorrow is another day and it is Sunday and they can sleep late. They also look forward to the outing to meet Dada for his special interactive session only with them. I wonder where it will be this Sunday, says young Abhidya in a sleepy voice. I know what subject we will be discussing tomorrow, says Saurabh. I hope it is on top of the hill at the meditation center. I love going up there, says Aishwarya, 
as she pulls the blanket cozily up to her chin. These happy smiling faces are Bao's reward. Anubhuti School, Jalgaon, a unique school based on Indian cultural heritage and a global vision.